Hey kids, welcome back to math. Today's lesson is gonna be pretty sweet. Let me tell you why. Usually in math, we talk about problems that all have the same answer. For example, one plus one equals two. Sure, you can solve it lots of different ways, but the answer is always two. In today's lesson, you're gonna solve problems that have lots of different answers. I don't know about you, but that makes me feel like I get to do my own thing and be creative. Pretty cool, huh? So in today's lesson, you're going to learn to decompose the numbers six and seven. Repeat after me. I can decompose. The numbers six and seven. Let's say it all together. I can decompose the numbers six and seven. Wait, stop. I can feel your panic already. I said a crazy word. I said decompose. You're right, that's a new word. It's a power word. Decompose is just a fancy math word for break apart. Today, I brought the tool jelly beans. In my cup, I have seven jelly beans. If I wanted, I could put some in this hand to share with a friend. In this hand, I have two jelly beans. I kept five for myself. Hmm, that doesn't seem super fair. I bet I could share it a different way. Maybe I could give my friend three jelly beans and keep four for myself. Hmm, maybe I'm not feeling very hungry. Maybe today I don't like jelly beans. I do change my mind a lot. I could give all seven to my friend and keep zero for myself. I can break apart the number seven in so many different ways. See, decomposing isn't that hard after all. Let's check out another way to decompose numbers. Just decomposing the number six. In my picture, you see a whole group of six apples. There are two small circles over here because I'm going to break the six apples into two parts. I'll do that by moving some into the top circle and the rest into the bottom circle. Now I have six broken into the parts of one and five. Six equals one plus five. Hmm, you might notice our equation looks different than normal. The equal sign is at the beginning, not at the end. If you notice that, you're right. The equation can be written like this. Remember what equals means? Equals means the same. So everything on this side of the equal sign must be the same as this side. Six is the same as one and five. We still have six apples. They're just spread out differently. Let's try this again. I have six apples, but I wanna break them apart differently. How would you break them apart? You could put two apples in the top circle and four apples in the bottom circle. As long as you use all of the apples, you broke them into two groups. Six equals two plus four. Remember, equals means the same. Six is the same as two and four. Now, if you don't actually have the apples to work with and you need to draw a picture of this, here's what you could do. Instead of moving the apples into different circles, you could draw a circle around your groups, like this. Now, I have a circle around two apples and a circle around four apples. Again, I have shown that six can be decomposed into a group of two and four. This time, I just did it by circling the groups. And that's it. That's how you can decompose numbers.